Are you a junior barista or a home barista finding it hard to make your first cup of coffee using an espresso machine? Then let me guide you through these simple barista tips that will help you improve the way you operate your espresso machine to make your first cup of coffee like a professional barista. Hi, I'm Dero the Barista. Welcome to my beginner's guide on how you can make your first cup of coffee using an espresso machine. You might be a home barista who has just got your first espresso machine to make your cup of coffee at home as a junior barista making coffee using a commercial coffee machine in a coffee shop you're going to find it hard to use an espresso machine for the first time to make a great cup of coffee but with these barista tips i'm about to share in this video they'll help you simplify the full process on how you can operate and make a great cup of coffee using an espresso machine the knowledge i'm about to share in this video i wish someone told me when i was starting my career of a barista I wouldn't have struggled so much learning the different parts of the espresso machine and the full process on how I can operate an espresso machine to make a great cup of coffee. So this is why I've made this video. I'm going to be taking you through a full guide. I'm going to start with the 10 most important parts of the espresso machine and their functions. Then I'm going to guide you through the different coffee tools that you'll need in the process of making coffee using an espresso machine. This will help you make a great cup of coffee within no time. We'll start by understanding the most 10 important parts of the espresso machine and their function. This is the espresso machine that we're going to be using for this video. It's a Lamazoko GB5S, one of the modern espresso machines. It's a semi-automatic espresso machine that we use in our coffee shop. One of the latest version of the Lamazoko series espresso machines. We're going to start with the 10 important parts of the espresso machine, but I've made a full detailed video about the most important parts of the espresso machine, which I'll link in the description below or at the end of this video. You can check them out after watching this. We have the power switch, which is turning on and off the espresso machine. We have the steaming one where we steam our milk to create that perfect milk texture for making latte art. We have the pot filter, which comes with a pot filter basket. This is where we put our grinded coffee beans for extraction. Then we have a group head where we set our pot filter so that we can extract our shot of espresso. We have the hot water dispensary. This is where we have the hot waters for making the hot Americano or some teas. Then you might be asking yourself why coffee cups are always placed on top of the espresso machine. This is where you're going to find the cup warmer. It heats up the cup so that you can be able to brew your coffee on a right temperature cup. Then we have the extraction buttons where you press and extract your coffee. We have the pressure gauge for measuring our pressure because we need a 9 bar pressure to extract our espresso. Then lastly we need a steam one comb where we open our steaming one and be able to purge our steaming one and steam milk to make a great latte art understanding these 10 important parts of the espresso machine our next step is understanding the full process on how we can use the different coffee tools to make a great cup of coffee using the espresso machine let's start with the weighing scale this is a coffee tool that's very important we weigh our doors and follow our recipe to keep the consistency when we are making our coffee the next is the espresso coffee grinder these grinders grind the coffee bean into a grind size that is able to extract our shot of espresso after we go to distribute using a distribution tool so that we can level up our coffee grinds then you're going to need to tamp using a tamper this is an automatic coffee tamper but you can use a manual coffee tamper After you're going to insert the pot filter in your group bed and extract your shot of espresso in your cup. If you want to create a latte art on your cup of coffee, you're going to need a milk jug, also known as a picture. This is where we pour our milk so that we can be able to steam it and create that perfect milk texture, which is going to enable us to pour a good latte art on our cup of coffee. If you steam very well your milk, this is one of the key processes which will enable you to make a good latte art on your cup of coffee. So you can easily create a good latte art on your cup of coffee by following these simple steps. Working as a barista, these are the basic tools and basic parts of an espresso machine that you need to know to enable you make a great cup of coffee. Let's follow these simple steps and make a flat white.
we start the process by cleaning up our pot filter then we're going to weigh it so that we can know the dose that we're going to grind from the espresso grinder we grind our coffee beans into smaller particles using our espresso grinder using a fine grind size which is the right grind size for extracting the right flavors in our espresso we weigh again to check if we are having the accurate dose that we're going to need for our shot of espresso after having the right dose of our shot of espresso then we're going to distribute our coffee grains we're using our distribution tool so that we can have an evenly distributed coffee bed for tamping then we're going to tamp using our automatic coffee tamper or you can use the manual coffee tamping method Flash your group head, then insert the pot filter in your group head, start the extraction of your espresso. You're going to see your espresso flowing with a goldish color. This is a sign that you're having the best extraction for your espresso. As the espresso is flowing, then we're going to prepare our milk for steaming. You start by pouring your milk into your milk jug. Make sure your milk is cold so that you can be able to texture your milk. You need to purge your steaming one then start your steaming process. You start by injecting in air into your milk. Then you create a vortex which is a, which is a spinning motion. This will texture your milk resulting into a silky milk texture which is going to be perfect for making your latte art. After steaming you need to purge the steaming one and also wipe it with a wet towel so that it can be clean. Then we're going to start pouring our latte art into our cup of coffee. I'm going to be making my favorite latte art design, which is an inverted swan latte art. I start by pouring four leaves of the tulip. Then rotating the cup, I'm going to make a small rosetta, which is going to act as the body of the swan. Then create a neck of a swan and also the head of the swan. This is how you can make an inverted swan latte art. I know many beginner baristas will struggle understanding everything I've explained in this video at once. So I would recommend for you to rewatch this video again and take note of the key parts of the espresso machine to help you memorize them so that next time when you come across an espresso machine, you'll be able to make a great cup of coffee using your home espresso machine but make sure to watch this video next because it's a full guide on the different parts of the espresso machine explain it with full detail so that you can be able to make a great cup of coffee and become a better barista